Hey team, I'm just going to run you through my basic estuary pack that I take out. Pretty much everything that's in my little tackle bag for when I go out and spend a bit of time on the water, whether it be chasing flathead, uh, brim, tailor, and then occasional species like your giant area and your, and your tarpon that show up now and again. So let's start with rods. So for a long time now, I've been using this one here, which I've passed on to my son. It is an Akuma LRF, seven foot, and it has an Apixel 4000. Great little combo. Uh, I think I'm running 12 pound on this one, on the 4000, on the Apixel. Still get a really nice long cast, and then we just match it up with leader to suit, but we'll talk about leader in a second. So that's my older one, which is now my young fellas, and then, I got myself the other day, I went and sport myself and got a TT Black Mamba 2 to 4 kilo. 2 to 4 kilo is generally where you'll be at if you want to kind of cover everything in your estuary. So, 2 to 4 kilo, 7 foot rod. And if I was to choose out of the real size, 2,500 would be to go and run probably 10 pound main line. So, I've got the Bionic X9 on that. And again, We'll go through leaders in a second as I dig through my little bag there. But this is a great setup, really light, and I probably use it twice now, and I love it. So um, very sensitive, I would say. So you get to feel a lot more in it. So that's the rods: TT Black Mamba and Akuma ITX two and a half thousand. Very cool reel. Look good as well. So. Righto, so where I go from there, I'm just going to dig into this tackle bag because I've got stuff everywhere. So let's start with some plastics. When you're in the estuary, there's two types of plastics I generally make my go-to. And then I have a few colours of each to go from there. So first of all, two and a half inch Slim Swim is a dynamite lure. I've spent a lot of time with Justin filming and that, and the amount of fish I've seen him catch on these. And I think he was talking to me the other day there where um, he'd caught 50 fish on the one lure. So, you know, you go to the tackle shop, you buy yourself one pack, you're gonna get a long time out of it. So, which is really good. And, you know, you kind of want, want that value, I guess, and keeps catching fish. So two and a half inch swim swims, motor oil, these ones are, which that's probably a favorite of mine. So, no, sorry, Midnight Oil. Motor Oil is also, it's very close, but it doesn't have the little bit of glitter through it. So, Slim Swim. And then we're gonna move up to a bit of a, a larger profile. And these are a favorite for a lot of people with your three inch uh, minnows from Zedman. Very, very good lure. It imitates your mullet and your slightly larger bait. So, we'll just have a quick look at these ones here. I'll grab one of each out. I'll just put these down. So with the minnows, I have a few colors and general rule of thumb is natural, something a bit fluoro and then something a little bit darker, um, especially if you're fishing in the morning. Um, I was out the other week and running a darker color in the morning on a really cloudy day and that seemed to get the bite for me. So just give us a sec. I'll grab one of these out each. I'm sure if you jump back out, on the videos and some of the how-tos on the um, Tacky Tactics YouTube, you'll get a more in-depth um, rundown on these. So these are being the paddle tail. So there you go, that little sucker there. Awesome little paddle tail, nice little cut. So you get a lot of movement out of it. And then your three inch minnows there. So I'll give you a look at these close up on the jig heads as I'm speaking. Very good lures. And yeah, being 10 times tough, you get a lot of stretch out of them. So if I was to pick two, two lures to take in my pack for estuaries, these would be the two ones. So uh, soft plastics. All right, so now, if you're gonna go in a bit of deeper water, it's something I always take with me is the switch blades. So there's a the switch blade there. These can be used in the scenario where like I said, just prior deep water. I usually just sit there, I sound up some fish, 
If I can see them on my sounder, I just throw these out. And generally, I'm just sitting on the back of the boat and I just raise the lure up and down. You don't have to put a lot of action in and you don't have to lift them miles up either. So if you're bringing it at six inches off the bottom and getting a good vibration, you're in for a good, good chance of catching the fish. Also, long casts. Say if you're on a, a, a nice long weed flat, the bit of rubble, say in two meters of water, you can get a hell of a long cast with these, just throw them out. You'll see them hit the bottom, give them a quick jig up and then just slow wind them back. And you'll come in contact, you know, I've caught some really nice snapper doing this um, in the passage. Uh, fish, you know, around that 50 to 60 centimeter mark. So really good lure. Right, so let's dive a little bit deeper in there, leaders. Okay, so lately I've been using the Stealth FC. I generally only take, say, eight pound, 10 pound, and on, say, with the giant herring shop or something like that, I'll have a 20 pound. So I might run a length of leader at 10, and then right at the end, I'll run a little tippet there, which, yeah, look, yeah, 20 pound, could even go up to 50 pound because of the, you know, when they hit and they jump out of the water and carry on like they do, they, they can go through and break through your leaders really, really easily. So Stealth FC, so I've got that in, oh, I've got that ranging from eight pound all the way up to 50 pound for other sort of fishing with the barra and that, but um, general rule of thumb, eight pound, 10, and maybe grab something a little bit heavier in case, you know, not only giant herring, you've got your tailor as well, and anything toothy that might, might break through, clean fish, anything like that. Okay, what else can we go through here? Jig heads. Right, so automatically, the three, your three inch minnows, these bad boys here. Now you can fit a few, Few different size jig heads in there as in hook size so three inch minnow 3o fits in beautifully so yeah it just, it just fits really well you get good hook exposure once you rig them right i'll show you in a second but also a 4o will fit in that one not a problem so think about it. if you if you're at the shop there wait you know you're going to buy a pack of three inch minnows get a 3o okay and generally weight wise one quarter and three eighth will cover everything in most estuaries. Three eighth for your deeper water or if you've got a bit of run, and then your one quarter, you know, more your shallower stuff, I guess. But also, even if it has a bit of run and you're fishing deeper water and you want a slower sink rate, uh, go to one quarter. So I'll just dive through here. I've spilled a few in here. So there you go. That's your 3 o with a 3 8 and then I'll grab a 4 o and then I'll just show you the size difference. So this is for the 3 inch minnows. Just like that. So there's your size difference there and hook. So if you want a little bit, even if you want a little bit more of a gate there, a little bit more hook exposure, you could just use a 4 o and then, if we have a look closely, there are two different weight sizes. So three eighths being on the bottom, being heavier, and then the one quarter. If I was to choose one that I'd use the most, I would say generally one quarter would be the one I'd pick. But if you're going into the shop, grab yourself a pack of each. Righto, so that's your three inch minnows. When we go into the slim swims, when it comes to your slim swims, being a smaller profile lure, obviously you've got to run a smaller hook. So I've learned this when I went with Justin. He uses, I've seen him using a quarter a lot. So when you're in with that one meter of water, you can cast out and you get a good depth, it'll sink nicely. And then you can just do a nice slow roll back, a few jiggles, but you can keep that lure moving. So a one quarter with a two in there, or this pack here is a one eighth, okay, with a two heavy hook in that. So you can go your lighter gauge as well, but I've just got the two heavy there in case I run into a, a more decent sized squire or something in the passage. 
So two and a half inch slim zooms with the two H hook. So one eighth, um, one quarter would probably be more what I use most of the time. Now the only other jig head I would use is your weedless jig head there. And so again with your three inch minnow, get a size three, three O hook. So when you're fishing them weedy drop offs, just means you can throw up into them and bring it through the weed a lot easier and not get anything caught on your hook. So I'll give you a quick look at that. I'll just put that across the screen now. So yeah, that's a basic rundown of what I take. I do not take a lot, but I take stuff that works and I know that's been proven and I've seen work over, over many years. So quick recap. We have three inch minnows. Grab yourself a few colors of those. Two and a half inch slim swims. Grab a couple of colors of those. Like I said before, rule of thumb, something Bait, anything that looks like bait fish, so if it's clear, a little bit dark, like your mullet get a little bit dark on top, and then just get a far out colour to give it a go, because the one day when nothing's working, you can throw that on and it'll work. Uh, blades, a couple of spools of leader. Oh, actually, I'll touch the base on this. Why I like this, these spools are really cool, because they have a little round keeper in there, so you just thread your leader through. Then you can just pull out what you need, cut it, and it's always there. Um, some of the others, oh, this has got it as well. Some of the others have a little keeper there, but I like this because you can just grab it whenever you want and then pull out what you want, and it stays all combined and doesn't explode in your tackle box like some do, some have in the past. So that's basically it. So. I hope you can get something from this. I know it's a bit muddled, but that's my tackle box. It's not super neat or super clean. It's got stuff in there I know works. The combos are good. A two and a half thousand size reel, two to four kilo, seven foot right. It's gonna do everything you want in the extra. There you go, that's what's in my tackle bag. Hope you enjoy and I'll catch you next time.